Okay, so this tutorial video will be about Slide Master and how to use PowerPoint in order to create a, an efficient presentation. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is open up PowerPoint and create a new presentation. But as much fun as PowerPoint is, I know it can seem a little bit overwhelming, and there's a lot more that you can do with PowerPoint than meets the eye. So the first thing we're going to cover today is Slide Master and how it's an easy tool and it's very useful to design a presentation because it helps you vary the layout and content of your slides um, so you can quickly change the font color theme of an entire presentation quickly. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to go to Slide Master. So Slide Master, when you open it, all of these little subslides pop up and they're pretty much just um, a layout or kind of a showing of every single slide type that you could possibly have. So this is the master time title slide, obviously, since it says that. So something that you can do with these is you can create a background or you can add any colors and whatever you do to this slide will happen to all the other slides. So you want to do this theme. You can see what this theme looks like on every slide. Say you didn't like this theme or you didn't like the colors, you can simply just choose another one and you can see what all of these slides look like in each different layout. So Slide Master sets up the basic design of the slide, of the presentation that you want. So you want to insert this layout and theme into the main presentation. So if you were to close Slide Master, you can see that this theme still carries over into your other slides. If you create a new slide or if you create a new type of slide, you can see that these all flow with whatever your design is. So if you go back into Slide Master, you can edit one of these and you can go, or we can actually edit the title slide. So let's say you want to change this font because you don't like it. You can change it to whatever you'd like. And that changes all of the master title slides. You can also do the same with these. So you can change this. presentation. And then if you were to go into normal view, then you see that this pops up. So we can continue editing Slide Master a little bit so you can see what these will all look like. And Slide Master is really helpful in showing you different layouts and showing you options of what you can do. You can put dates in at the bottom if you see here. If you so choose, you can go through all of these little options and play around and see which type of slide works for you. Again, it's essentially an outline, so it's just helpful to do this before you actually start creating your presentation. So that way you know what you're doing when you go to actually create your presentation. So you can go label this one to columns. So this is also, if you can tell there's a little bit of a color difference here and a little bit of a formatting difference. So whichever one you prefer. So if you go back to your presentation, if you go and see, this says a new slide because in our slide master, that is the, what we labeled it. So if we go to the two content, you see it says two columns because that is what we labeled it in our slide master. So the slides, again, that you've created in slide master will appear here along with your notes and ideas. So Another thing with the layout is if you go into Slide Master and you say you type inside Slide Master in your two columns, insert data table one here. Then when you go to actually create your presentation, you'll see that in two columns, you have this laid out so you know to insert your data table. There you go. And it also matches the theme of your presentation too, which is very helpful. So another option just for creating a good PowerPoint in general is to insert all of your pictures first. Let's go to another one. So let's insert a picture. And let's go, we can insert this one. And then go to 
to design and this actually popped up for me but you go to design you go to design ideas and then all of these different options come up and this is very important to do to vary all of your slides so say you can have two of the exact same slide let's say so let's insert another slide that is just a title and content that also says a new slide if you see all these new design ideas will pop up on the side too that all match the theme so say we need another picture in let's go here or let's go to data table or a screenshot of a data table i should say and then all these will pop up you have options to create text here if you want them say you don't want text in them and you just want your content you can just do title only you can add a title if you want or say you just want to insert pictures picture from file and you can go and you can find your data table and insert it let's call this one table two and then all these design ideas will pop up it's a super design ideas is a super helpful tool. You could also format backgrounds, say if you want different colors in something, different gradients, say you want to change the background, you could also do that here. Picture or texture fill, you can insert a picture. Say you want this as your background or something along those lines. You can easily do that. Um, there is a ton, you have a ton of options to do with PowerPoint to customize your presentation to do whatever you'd like. Now, changing the layouts of your slides, like I've been showing you how to do, is very important in creating a good and organized presentation. While this obviously is very basic and very bare bones, you can do a whole lot with your presentation once you actually get it going. You can do fun transitions. You can, I would especially recommend timing yourself um, when you actually go to record slideshow, rehearse timings. That way, so you know what you're doing. If you go to the presenter view, it shows you a very detailed layout of your presentation and it times you as well. So you see what you're, so that's what you see when you actually go to present your presentation. So this presentation I created is just a more detailed and I spent more time on it than the previous one. Um, this one, while it only has six slides, this is pretty much the length that you want to kind of achieve if you have something like a data presentation, which is pretty much what I set this up for. Um, you don't want too much text on your slide. Um, you don't want anything more than really the captions for the pictures. I don't have captions here as much as I just have a little bit of text. This isn't obviously perfect, but it is something that you can look at and kind of see that there's all the slides look pretty much different. Um, obviously, when you present this, um, this little data here goes away, but and like these little boxes, but this very much looks like. And if also, if you look, not only are the slides themselves varied, like I have only, I have text here, the title, and then I have this uh, picture. I have two pictures here and the backgrounds are also different on each slide. This slide I messed a little bit more, and that was something I showed you to do with the design format background. And then you can, I messed with the transparency, I messed with the gradients a little bit, and I formatted the background how I wanted it to be. Also up here, if you see, there's different colors for each background. So I'll say if I wanted it to be like this, it would change the colors. If I didn't want it, I'm just gonna do it. This one I changed the entire background to a picture of some trees. Um, it's just the highest resolution picture I had on handy, on hand. But you can see it says picture or texture fill, and then I inserted it, inserted it from file like I showed in the previous clip with the previous presentation, with the previous PowerPoint presentation. Which is why it says background picture with text over. Um, this isn't just a data table. This one is just two data tables. This one is a graph or a picture and a data table that I imported from Excel, which is helpful to be able to just copy the data table from Excel and then just paste it, um, which is pretty much what I did. You could also go to table design and edit it that way. But I, and you, I would definitely encourage messing around with this to see what format of the data table works best for you to design. Um, you can see that there are other ways that you can 
fit the shape. If you want a picture fill, you can have some kind of a texture or something depending on what you want your columns to. I had no fill, so you just see the background and the so you just see um, the background behind them, but you can certainly change it up depending on what you wanted. I just had a little bit of a whatever the theme had, kind of a gradient type thing. So just depending on whatever you want, it's up to you. On the next slide that I have, I have a graph that I actually imported in from Excel. So if you hover over the graph, you'll see that it has all these data points actually in. So rather than a picture of a graph, which is what this one is, this is just an image. That works fine too, but this is actually a graph itself that you can edit pretty much like in Excel. You can go to insert chart design and add a new chart element, which is pretty much what I did. With this, there's tons of different charts you can do. Say if you didn't like how this one was looking, you could pick a different style. I liked this one because if this one was too see-through, you really couldn't absorb anything that was on the chart. If you want something darker, you could do that. I liked the lighter option because everything else on the PowerPoint was lighter, which is why I did that one. Um, but besides that, um, it's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to do, just to put a graph on it. So yeah, we can go before I finish. I want to show my slide master view that I created. So I had, I changed the font design. I changed the font for this one. I had, this wasn't the original theme font. I showed you how to do that also. I changed this. I said data here so I would remember what to put. Then I have picture of data, second picture of data. But they're all a little bit different if you can see. So they're pretty off terms in terms of background, in terms of layout, which is what I tried to vary when I created my presentation. I hope this presentation helped and taught you a little bit about Slide Master and about PowerPoint in general. And thank you for watching.